Hey YouTube, I'm going to talk about my Natasha Denona palettes today. I have four of the large, uh, well I guess the mediums because these aren't the huge ones. <laughs> these are the, how much were they? The 129 ones? Purchased them all on sale. And this is the newest edition, her eyeshadow 10, which I haven't opened yet so we'll get to that. And I have two of the five pan. So I'm going to do a ranking of sorts, and it should be fairly short because I only have seven of them, and one I haven't used yet. So this is the eyeshadow 10. I have not used it yet. I'm going to start diving into this, and I'll do a series of videos doing different looks with this palette. As many videos as I need to do to use every shade in here, which may only be three or four. And I'm undecided on whether just to put all the videos in one long video or to do separate uploads. So I'm still trying to figure that out. And I think it depends on once I get into it, what I'm doing or where I'm going. I'm not really going to rank <laughs> the Camel Palette or the Cranberry Palette because I love these equally. And I love to pair these two together because this one, the Cranberry gives me color, limited color compared to some other palettes. And this gives me the neutrals. And I find that anytime I need a neutral, this is the one I go to because it's easy. So I always pair these together. Even if it's just for a lid shade or brow bone highlight, I go to this one when I'm using the cranberry. I can get a full look out of this. And you can do one and dones, which I really haven't done. But you can. And I have gotten entire eye looks, a, a few different ones from this palette, even though they are still all that brown warm tone type look. And so these two I'm not gonna rank because <laughs> and I don't think this would be number one anyway, only because it is a limited color range. But as far as the quality, I love it. My least favorite is the Safari palette, but not for reasons that you think. Um, it has a chemical smell, number one. And even when I first purchased it, I left it open like this for like over 24 hours to see if it would air it out, but it still didn't. It smells less faint, but it's still there. The reason this is my least favorite, so out of the $129 palettes, this will be the fourth one because I only have four. And... <laughs> Because I was so used to these palettes and her creamy matte formula, the Safari palette is pre-creamy matte formula. And so I was used to, well, let me just not even get into that. With this palette, when I would do my crease color first, transition color, and put these colors on the lid, they were, they were not really showing up well. And I found that I had to do my lid colors first before my transition and crease colors. When I did it that way, that's when I started loving this palette. But it's still the bottom of my list because I had to relearn how to apply my eyeshadow. And when you get a palette, you just wanna put it on how you normally put on your makeup. And then there's some palettes where you have to learn how to best apply it to get the colors to show up. So I did learn to love it. I wasn't able to return it. And so that's what made me keep working with it to figure out how to use it to my liking. And I did, and I'm glad that I did. And I do have a series of videos using this palette if you wanna see the looks that I've done with it. I do really like it. I just had to learn how to use it. So if you have this palette, put on your eye primer, do your lid colors first, and then do your crease colors and transition colors. And you should not have a problem. Some people hated this, some people loved it. And that's why I waited till I seen it on silver half off to buy it. And I'm glad that I did. The next one, number three. I'm saying number three like I have like a list of like 20. <laughs> Is the Leela palette. I love her. I love her. The only reason she's near the bottom is because I don't pick her up as much. This is not a palette where I can get dressed and be like, oh, let me just do, you know, an eyeshadow look. Because this may not go with whatever I'm wearing. Like today, yes, the plain basic, you know, off-white shirt. But 
this is not just a pick up and wear unless you just stick to the really neutral colors here, which you can. And so you have to, well, for me, if I'm wearing a colorful shirt, I have to sit and look at this like, okay, what can I do with this that's not going to make me look crazy as far as color wise between my eyeshadow and my clothes. And so other than that, though, I love every shadow in here, even the cool tone shades, which I know we don't like, don't like myself in cool tones, but they work for me with this palette. And maybe because there's a mix and there's only a few of them, but I do love the color story. I love every look that I've done with this palette and I do have a series of looks posted on my channel with this. And so if you want to see the different looks I've created with this palette, go ahead and view them. With every palette that I have, I've done a series of looks until I've used every shadow in that palette. And so if you want to see how any of these work for me and on me, check out those videos. My number two, remember I only had four. <laughs> so my number two <laughs> is the Metropolis palette because there were two shades in here that I didn't like because I, 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 don't, I don't know if they were the chroma crystals or whatever, the fallout got into my eyes, irritated me, whatever, so I took them out. So the one, is that a, um, so this one I took out and for some reason, I'm thinking this one doesn't belong here. How do you get a sample and you can pop it in? For some reason, I'm thinking that one is a sample. And it looks cracked. Why is it cracked? I'm not sure. But I took out the most problematic one for me, which was this one. This is only number two because... <laughs> I don't always want a lot of color. If you guys are all about color, check out Tammy Clark. She is the color queen. Like, her looks are beautiful. She'll start off with, like, a bright red in the crease. And I'm just like, ooh, girl. But it looks beautiful. And I'm like, I need to learn from her. <laughs> but this is my color palette. And I love that I have it. You can do neutral looks. You know, this row, this row. Well, column, actually. This column, this column. You can do neutral. You can even do some neutrals with this right here. And you, and you have, like colors whatever color you could want i don't mind that this shade looks similar to that shade i don't mind that this shade looks similar to that shade on my eye and maybe it's the way i apply it on my eye it does look different some people say they look the same on their eye and so it may be your skin tone and maybe the primer you're using i don't know but even though like the, they look this one and this one i said this one and that one didn't i this one and this one even though they look similar in the pan they do look different on my eye I could have done without one of these, but again, because I do like the colors, I will use them, and so I don't mind it. And her shadows do last, I think, two years, three years, I think two years. And so this is my color palette, but I have to be in the mood for color. And again, I have a series of looks with this palette using every shadow in here, so check that out as well. My all-time favorite is Viva, and this is, I love this palette. I love this palette because it does look boring, I know. I love it because even though it is a neutral palette, I love how I look in warm tones. I wasn't sure about these cool tones, but I even like those on me too. And I think it might be just a combination. I can pick this up and put this on with anything. I don't have to think about... Okay, well, like the Leela palette, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with these colors with what I'm wearing? Or the Metropolis. If you want color, you can just bump up the darker shades. If you want to keep it neutral, you know, stick to, you know, the lighter shades, like this little quad here. If you want a little bit of color, this quad here, you want to go deeper, use these shades here. And so, I mean, it's a lot that I'm able to do with this palette, and I really like it. Again, it does look basic. It looks boring. <laughs> But it gives me what I want, and I don't have to think hard about what shadow should I put where. And so for my skin tone, like, this is absolutely perfect, and it's just super easy. So that is it for <laughs> my Natasha Denota ranking but not ranking palette. This one's unrated. I haven't used it yet. So, but that is it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. And if you're into Natasha Denona, do you just keep what you like or do you like buy everything? Because I've seen videos where they have every single Natasha Denona palette starting back from the beginning when they were over 200 something dollars. I just keep the ones I like. If I get something I don't like, it, it goes back because that's too much money just to 
throw it in the trash. In my trash. They can throw it in their trash. But anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think. Let me know what your ranking would be of your Natasha Denona palettes if you have them. And if you don't have any, are you eyeballing any waiting for a sale to come up to purchase them? And why? And if you have them, let me know what you like about them. I think I said that already. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and you will see me in the next video.